hi guys welcome back to my channel so this video today is a highlighting and contouring video and if you saw my last video I wanted to apologize for the um, the editing of the music like you couldn't really hear me talking the music in some parts are really loud so that's why I decided to instead of re-edit the whole video to go ahead and film a whole nother howling and contouring video for round faces so I hope you guys enjoy don't forget to subscribe and see you guys later hi guys so what we're gonna start with is our LA girl pro conceal concealer and what I am going to do is put it in a triangle shape with the applicator underneath both eyes. Then I apply the concealer down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and I also apply the concealer on my chin. Then I take my Studio Finish Concealer in the color NW45 and I contour the hollows of my cheeks and around the perimeter of my forehead and also my chin. Make sure you blend it out so that you will not have any harsh lines. To blend out my contour, I'm using the Small Stipple Brush by e.l.f. You can purchase this brush at any drugstore near you. Next, I am going to take my Damp Beauty Blender and I am going to blend out the concealer underneath my eyes and also I am going to blend out my contour around my, the perimeter of my face and also the hollows of my cheeks. Make sure you blend, blend, blend guys. Next, I'm going to take my Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC in the color NC42. I'm going to apply this concealer underneath my eye in the same inverted triangle shape down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and also on my chin. Make sure you blend out any harsh lines, guys. I am applying another layer of concealer to conceal the dark circle under my eyes and also to highlight my face even more. Also this prevents any creasing and also any showing of any dark circles under my eyes. Next, I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and spray my Beauty Blender and then I'm going to set my concealer that I applied on my face. Then I'm going to set my contour with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Mocha Mocha. I'm applying this foundation around my contour with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. Make sure when you are applying this foundation, you are blending out any harsh lines that you may have. I use this foundation because I feel like it gives me more coverage and it pops more 
and also it's giving me that bronze effect. Next I am going to set my concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm using a dry beauty blender. We are going to use the baking technique for our concealer to prevent any creasing underneath the eye. So bake honey bake yes. I am adding the translucent powder around my jawline so that I can have a more defined line underneath the cheekbone. It makes the contour really pop, honey. Look at those cheekbones. Yes. I don't remember where I purchased this brush, but I'm pretty sure you can purchase this brush at Morphe's Brushes. I'm using that to dust away all of the excess translucent powder off my face. While I'm doing that, I am blending out any harsh lines to give the contour and the highlight a more natural effect. Now I'm taking my blush from MAC in the color Raisin and I'm going to apply the brush with my Real Techniques blush brush on the high points of my cheek. Then I'm going to take my favorite highlighter of all time by Becca Cosmetics in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop and I'm going to apply that also on the highlights of my cheeks and also on the side of my forehead. Highlight come through, yes! Then I'm going to apply it on the bridge of my nose and also the tip of my nose. Look at that glow. Then finally I'm going to set my whole look with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and if you want a makeup tutorial on the full look, please leave a comment down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching 